The 805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we'll be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Tino, and Tino is with the Santa Barbara Eastside Society. Welcome, Tino. Hi, Cinder. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's a pleasure thank to you be here. For being here. Thanks. And so I have to tell you, until today, I had never heard of the of the Santa Barbara Eastside Society and so I was fascinated to hear all the things you're doing and so tell us about this about the society and I think you're relatively new yes. um, and developing and so tell us about your projects. Well we're a fledging new nonprofit we used to be the Milpas Community Association and we reformed uh, we have new bylaws and uh, we have a new mission statement so our new mission is to build civic engagement with residents, businesses, youth, and we also try to promote cultural events. We look at health and safety issues, so we do a lot of work with government to try to link them up with people. Uh, we work with the elderly, and uh, we're just very much involved with the beautification of the east side. Wow, and I remember that, that Milpas, um, what was it, what did you say it was called? The Milpas Community Association. Community. So I remember that, it was going for a while. Yes. I'm glad that you've picked that up because that's so important. It so, really is, it, it's, um, the community is really asking for, for assistance in, in many levels. And the one that we try to look at is to clean up Milpas. We want Milpas to sparkle. And we just finished up our National Cleanup Day, which is, uh, keep it clean, make it green. So we yeah. have about 30 volunteers show up. Wow. Uh, youth and uh, some of the local politicians and neighbors. And we walked all the way from the uh, Santa Barbara Bowl to the beach. We wow. cleaned all the streets. Gosh, so how many people would you say are actively involved in your group? Well, the board consists of 10 people and mm. we're a working board. So That's good. We, we give the orders and then we carry them out, this sort of thing. But everybody is very involved and we outreach to a lot of other groups and we usually get a good turnout of volunteers. So do you typically have a certain project and then you sort of rally people around that and try to get volunteers involved and then you go from project to project or is it constant that you're going around or how does that work? Well, right now uh, we're just focused on uh, some s certain areas. So at the, at the moment our newest thing is going to be the trick-or-treat on Milpas, but uh -huh. we have the Christmas parade, 65th annual Christmas parade Golly. on Milpas, holiday on Milpas coming up. Oh, gee. Christmas everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so we're inviting the whole world to participate. <laughs> <laughs> and so we will have probably about 30 to 40 volunteers working on oh, that. Oh, good. Yes. And so um, if somebody wants to volunteer, they can go on your website and they can find out how to volunteer? Absolutely. They can go on our website and uh, contact any one of the officers there, leave us a, an email, and we'll get, it, uh, we'll get in touch with them very quickly. If someone wants to actually consider joining the board, we can send them out an application. Oh, that's good. And they apply and tell us about their skills, what they've been involved in, what kind of knowledge they bring, and, and then we, uh, we vote on them and bring them in. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. How long have you been involved? Uh, <clears throat> let's see. I've been involved two years when it was still the Milpas Community Association. Oh, okay. So you were... Yes. All right. Yes, before. And some of us stayed on, and we had this big retreat, and we came up with this new name and new ideas, and... Lots of energy. Oh gosh, yeah, that is great. So you've got a lot of um, lot of volunteers, a lot of people that are eager to make a difference. Yes, yes. I think um, one of the things we strive to do is get out and really meet the uh, businesses in the community and uh, have a human connection with folks 
learn about what their interests are, what their concerns are, and if we can, we link them up with the right government services. Uh, we also try to work closely with our district uh, council representative, and we're very um, attentive to meetings. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were involved in the Milpas uh, workshop where they're looking at improvements all up and down the Milpas corridor. And we'll be sponsoring a survey by the city so that people have who couldn't make it have a chance for some input. That's great. So I bet, I bet the businesses really appreciate this extra energy and attention to their needs as well as the needs of the community. You know, Cinder, it's really wonderful because people, when we go by there and we say, we don't ask for money, we ask, can you give us some food for the volunteers? And they're more than happy to, to come That's out great. and give it to us. They really welcome seeing us. Uh, I can't think of one person who's turned us down for, for posting our little flyers up in their windows. Yeah. So they're very responsive and um, very nice people. We, we try to meet everyone individually. And so you say you um, work with the youth and the seniors and all. Do you, you know, go to certain places or schools or anything? to? Well, primarily we have a contact with Santa Barbara High School. Oh. And uh, one of their counselors there brought, oh, it must have been maybe eight kids from the high school to the cleanup day. So we let them know anytime there's uh, an event and they earn credits oh, for good. their community work. Yeah, And that's then they really get good. to know the business people in addition to it. Yeah. And that way the, the kids really can learn about Come on, let's get involved. This is your community. Right. Let's get involved. Let's make right. it better together. Right. What I like is like just pick up that trash you just threw down there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's That's enforcing right. them with their own you know, behaviors. And yeah. they were just a great group of kids. So we look forward to working with them more as, as we progress, as we have more events. Gosh, well, this is wonderful that you folks are doing that important work. And I bet it's going to grow. Well, we hope so. We hope so. Uh, right now we're meeting at the uh, East Side library and of oh, okay. course uh, meetings are open so anyone is welcome to come stop by and uh, see how we operate when, when do you meet we meet the third monday of every month okay from six At to seven thirty six to seven thirty okay and anybody's library. welcome to come yes stop by please we'll probably put you to work i mean but, but please stop by and and see how we operate and meet the board they're they're local business people uh that sit on the board Okay, so as it's well mostly business residents. people. Okay. Well, I'd, I'd say it's half and half that, that are on the board. There's um, uh, Ami Kang, who uh, is a, uh, a manager for Jack's Bagels. Mm. Uh, I have a business here in town, HR Works. There's other people that have businesses uh, that also sit on the board. Uh, Mr. Chuck Flax from Path is on our oh, board. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we have a good mix of, of residents and businesses. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah, Chuck is a great guy. Yes, he is. Yes, yes, he is. Great he's, work. He's he really he's really sharp. He's oh, he's been a great addition to our board. But we're always looking for other members, and we encourage people to apply. Yeah. So how about you know a lot of parts of town have um, mm, I guess you say challenges with the homeless population. Is that an issue for the East Side? Of course, yes. Of course, it is. I think that's. Uh, it, we're not alone in our uh, challenge to help the homeless. Uh, it is a national crisis as Boy, right now. Sure we know is. that. We, um, we know that we have to address it, so we're trying to work and be very um, sensitive to what we can do about it. And we're still in the works of, of meeting the people uh, we volunteer some places, uh, but right now we don't have any mm, real um, program. That oh, we sure, have for them. sure. Well, it, yeah. I think it would be hard to have a program, but, mm -hmm. but you make a good point to be sensitive to their needs, but also to the needs of the businesses yes. and, and the other people. And to balance all that is not easy. No, it's not. It, it really is about information. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we had our, uh, our cleanup day, I think it might have even been before that. We put together a list of services that a business owner could call that would, if they oh. had a homeless issue, they could call PATH, they could call the county, they could call the police if they needed to. So it was a, it was a list that went that's on a flyer, good. so we handed that out to people. See, so there's resources and education because that's what we're yeah, really about. I bet they really appreciate that. Oh, they did. 
Absolutely. They said, you know, no one had really come by and talked yeah. to them about it. At least, gosh, I have a number I can call. Yeah, know. and keep it handy. Yes, and... yes, yes. So that, that got a lot of play, and that's the kind of things we like to do. Golly. Do you know if other areas um, of Santa Barbara have similar organizations? I know that the Mesa is very involved. They have their own paper. Newspaper? Uh, yes, oh they do. Gosh. Yes, yes. They, they have their own paper, and uh, they do a lot of organization around events and education. Uh, um, I haven't attended one of their meetings yet, but I keep thinking, maybe we should all get together. That's a good idea. Yeah, right. And Montecito also has one, mm. and they're very active. Yeah, they, uh, you know, of course, they're still dealing with water issues over oh, there gosh, and some yeah. other things. But uh, we're very much in support of them, so hopefully we can collaborate at some point. That would be great. So all you guys could meet, have like a joint meeting, mm -hmm. and, you know, learn from each other. Here's what works best for us. We're, well, that won't work for us, but this is a good idea. Right. We can share ideas. Yeah. We can maybe do a joint event. Uh, we could do fundraisers together. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things, I think, that would unify the city so that it isn't siloed so much. You know, there's west side, yeah. east side, yeah. north side. Right, right. right, We're all Santa Barbara. So I'm hoping right. at some point we can collaborate and get together on some activities. Right. It's maybe even like take the Christmas parade, uh, Milpas. Maybe some of the other groups could come and help with that if you need any help. Yeah, that's that's a great idea. Yes. Uh, right now we're we just trying to sort out all the people who want to be in the parade and then we'll we'll assemble our volunteers but that's a great idea where we would be contacting other associations to come and help yeah. or at least to participate yeah and we're looking for floats so if oh. you want to have a float we're really looking to have people on floats oh that's good <laughs> yeah the santa barbara high school band always plays the junior high plays so there's a lot of uh, oh. different uh, bands that can come and play but also the car clubs show up and oh. we have dancers uh, that are coming. So we usually have about 50 entries. That's great. Mm -hmm. So um, so I know you were saying that um, you were talking about your website, for example. Yes. And you were saying, you know, we're a new organization, so we have a website. It's going to be, it's up, but it's going to be more developed in maybe even a short period of time. And yes. pretty soon people will be able to go on there, and then you are listing all the different things that they'd be able to see on your website. Yes, right. Maybe you could talk right. a bit about that. Well, we for people who go on, you can just do an exploratory thing, and you can look at, at our mission statement. You can see our events that are on there. You can see pictures. We also have a Facebook page where we have pictures of our work in oh, the community. Good. So people can learn about us that way. And eventually, we hope to have the application on there to become a member. Uh, we will also have membership where, uh, for a resident, I believe it's $25 for a year. Oh, yes. that's so pretty reasonable. Really reasonable. And hopefully, we'll have discounts from the businesses as they join. Yeah. We'll have uh, columns where you can have forums, and we'll be able to discuss different issues, yeah. learn about you know what, what is really uh, needed in and on the east side right now. Where the services are, so we'll be yeah. able to list all those things. That's great. I could yeah. see you having forums where you would invite people, and it would be you could you could even like do a little survey. What are the top three topics or issues that we want to talk about or focus on? And then you could have pick one of them and have a forum, and everybody come and yes. talk about it yeah. and figure out next steps. Right, right. See, that, that collaboration and that education, because then we can have the services that may be able to address those needs right there. Yeah. Uh, I just finished going to the uh, Senior Expo that was oh, at, uh, yeah. that was out at um, Earl Warren. Yes. And it was so impressive. There were just... It is really impressive. At least a hundred different services there. Yeah. So you could go around, talk to people, and we will eventually, when we get a little more organized, have people come and talk to us and present what their uh, service offerings are. That's and then great. that's where we invite the public and yeah. then they can pick up some information. So you're educating yourselves and yes. the public. Oh yeah, absolutely. That is great. Yes. Right. Well, Tina, we have just about a minute left. Do you have anything, a special message you'd like for the audience? Well, I just want to invite you, Center, and the crew and anyone else to come to the 65th Annual Milpas 
holiday on Memphis Parade. <laughs> 65th annual. Yes, all right. Yeah, we're really excited about it. Well, thank it's you. So thanks for your vision and for all your good work. And thanks for being with us today. All right. Well, thank you. It was a pleasure. Yes, um, thank you for the invite. Yes. And thank you for joining us on 805 Focus. And we'll see you next time.